to Washington and Miami's on the run. Hard for big guys to catch a bounce pass like that in full gallop. Solomon got the roll about that relationship. But what a what a wonderful partnership of son and father, head coach and assistant coach. The only other one I can think of was the Alfords. Yeah, right. Uh, at Iowa, I believe it was. It was. When Steve Alford and his dad were on the same staff, of course Steve was the head coach then. My Bill Sr. was with Rick Patino at Providence for four years. He left before the final four year going with Bill Foster out at Northwestern. He said he was there for about 12 years, but nonetheless, he said, I just got out. I got a little tired of it, and I didn't see the future, and now he's delighted to be back once again. And he said, being on the bench and relating with these young men has been a real thrill for him. Well, and they lost their wife and mother a couple years ago, four years ago now. Very difficult time for the family, but what a wonderful father-son success story here at Wright State. Six team fouls now called on Wright State. 6.46 left to go in the first half, and again, a commanding 19-7 lead by the Raiders. At home, in their whites with the green and gold. Red flag Red Hawks coming in and looking for a basket since the 9.02 mark of this half. Do they get it from Sullivan? They do. To the loss to Fort Wayne. Yoho again. Got bumped on his way in there a bit from behind. Sullivan against Benzinger. Sullivan for 18 to 11. They haven't won here in Dayton since 2008. Washington to the hoop. Good save on the far side. Sullivan for three. Yoho. Sullivan rebounds. Kicks it out, and here comes McKnight. Wright State got exactly what they want. Isolation on the backside with Yoho. And Miami, and Miami got, what got they it. Got. Smith. So all four points right now for Miami have been scored by Bryant and the three points by Ahmed Hill on an and one. So Virginia Tech only one of their possessions that they put points on the board. Now Miami will put points on the board. Oh, In the lane, no good. Van Zegren battles around, gets it away to a teammate. That was Ahmed Hill who lost it. Washington wanted to drive. He's stopped by Justin Bibbs. Smart move by Washington, bringing it back out, resetting the offense and making sure they can get something. Right now you're down by 20. The smartest thing to do for a young team is to try to get better than they were the first half. And clearly they are. I'd say those two from Virginia Tech, Van Zagren and Smith. Miami has possession under eight minutes to go now. Sullivan lips one down the... Good defensive cut through and not happy at all. Chris Collins, Northwestern coach, didn't like it. The takeaway for Miami. They'll run it, score it, and shoot one.
right there, I believe. We'll take it. 16-32 to play in the first half. Tied at four. Washington with a fresh 35. Gives it up high on the right side to Bryant. Holmes on him. Out front to McLean. McLean throws it right side. Sullivan. Open look at a three count. Will Sons with a stick down. Mm. Went right to the rack for his ninth point. We're tied at 19. Can't stop him down there. Or Logan has to get a body on him. He has to find him when the shot is in the air and get a body on him. Washington gives it to McLean. Out top to Washington. Setting up the offense. 625 to go in the half. Tied at 19. Left side it comes to Willie Moore. Around to Sullivan's screen. Out top to McLean. Underneath Sullivan. They left him all alone and he lays it up and in. Good look. 14 gone by as Washington brings it across the timeline for the Red Hawks. Works to the right side of the floor, gets it McLean there. Top of the key, it comes to Bryant, swinging left side of Washington. He gives it out top to Giovanni McKnight. He'll throw it right wing to Bryant. Bryant will hand it off to Sullivan, out front McLean. Left side, we swing it to McKnight, down low to Sullivan on a quick hitter. He lays it off the glass. 17-22 to play in the half, 4-2 Kent State leads. Washington between the circles with the basketball. Picks up that dribble, goes to the left elbow, backdoor cut, Sullivan off the glass, no good, but a foul is called. I asked him, I said, you're going to get into a little bit of TV radio, maybe? Into the that? broadcast. He will switch <laughs> positions. <laughs> Left side, Washington with the basketball out of the timeout. Gets a screen, keeps the ball. Now out top to McCormick. Hands it off. Will Sullivan off the screen. Quick trigger on the three is good. Trying to find a way to overcome a 15-point deficit. McCormick throws it to Sullivan. He'll drive past Manley to the baseline. Reverse layup in front of Hall. It'll be McCormick to bring it in for Miami. Lobs it out top left side of Jared Eustis between the circles. Now to Will Sullivan, left wing. He'll call the offensive set. Livingston sets a screen. Right side to Willie Moore. Left side, it goes to McCormick. Again around a Livingston screen. Picked up the dribble. Now needs help. Bounce pass out to Sullivan with 17 to shoot. Will will dribble to the right side. Gets all the way to the baseline. Has the shot blocked, but a foul is called. And now Jackson in the corner. They lob it down low to Hall. Lost the ball. Picked up by Sullivan. Good D. And then there's a foul on Hall. Hall baseline right side against McKnight. Forcing his way in. Putting it off the glass. Missing. Willie Moore with a rebound. Moore gets by everybody. Beats to the left corner. Sullivan for three. Count it. Holmes working against Bryant. Holmes well, with one hand fade away from the baseline. Credit for Sean Holmes. He called for the ball. They gave it to him on the wing. He had a, a drop step down on the baseline. And if they're not going to double cover him, he's going to do that a lot tonight. Washington backing it out. They want to slow things down, not get out of control. Inside Will Sullivan. And he is done, however, by Logan McLean, who is a recent starter a true freshman who they really are high on in the Miami program made that steal there's a pass inside Washington to Bryant kick out Sullivan Denny's guarding him at the line very closely but a great acceleration by Sullivan 
again, dribbling himself into trouble. Turned over, and back come the Red Hawks. Pass out Sullivan. That is his signature shot, and he ties the ball. Energy that they normally do. If it wasn't for that odd call and that tie-up, and that ball went in from Bryant, it would be a nine-point game, and maybe, for the most part, all over. Still, it's very tall mountain for the Falcons to try to scale now. And they foul Sullivan. Harley, those points were produced by Bean Willis. A little crossover, step back, drive to the basket. Found the open man for the score. Good look inside. Let. Oh, nice play by Washington to save it from a backcourt violation. Sullivan takes it inside, gets the bucket. Will Sullivan. Talked about when we talked about Maurice Endor. Is he going to come to play? That's what Saul Phillips tries to find out in the first four minutes. I think he has got his answer. <laughs> He's here tonight. They kick it out to Sullivan. Nice ball fake. Gets the runner and he draws the foul. Can't get it to go. Fine. that high ball screen little pick and pop guards good swing of the basketball you have to like the fact that they're willing to accept the fact they're going to have to pass it against a very good Ohio defense there's Sullivan told you he can shoot the three knocks it out from three-point range well I'm sure scouting report from Miami was make sure you know where the outside three-point shooters are thus far they haven't had much success but they're gonna to have to make that adjustment lead grows back to 13 Nice move, basket. Converted, Will Sullivan having a big first half. Amy Taylor, iron. Washington pushing it. Sullivan open for three, knocks it down. Give Washington. Washington heads up play. Red Hawks steal a possession there. Patience here by the Red Hawks. Setting up the two man game. Washington. Sullivan to the hoop. Scopes it in. Boy, he has had a great first half. Fusion for Ohio. That's really what this defense, and again, coming up with a turnover, three on three, finish at the basket. More to Sullivan running the break on the turnover.
for Miami. Miami 17 points off those 15 turnovers. Big factor in this game. Sullivan is fouled by Belcaster. here against Miami got him back in the half court keep the dribble in front of you not force double ups Sullivan drives it right to the bucket well done possession by either team now this is big coach Cooper takes the timeout to hopefully set something up to get production here see the shot clock clicking down now under 15 Washington has had success getting to the basket off the bounce. Kicks it to Sullivan. Got it. Three-pointer. Shot clock is off. And the Cardinals have to foul and do. Point game, two possessions. Turner misses. Tipped up. No good. Sullivan rebounds and a foul. Cool sport. So it's not like these guys cannot play. They're Division I basketball players too playing at this level. That's why the NCAA tournament is arguably one of the best events in the world because every March you see a team that just comes out. Inside for the rebound was Will Sullivan. What Miami's done, they've switched their defenses up a little bit, just trying to throw Toledo off, get them off timing and rhythm. A quick trigger, doesn't he? Will Sullivan. The Toledo lead is back up to seven. But every time the Rockets have threatened to break loose, Miami has found an answer. This time it's Will Sullivan.
look by Martez to get that ball inside there. Martez leads the whack in steals and assists. That's the first. from the three line coming into the game he has 10 points now and cuts the lead to four largest lead of the game was early on for UMKC when they led 11 to 2 at the top of the game here tonight McKnight as they swing it around whips it out to Sullivan and another three for Stephanie passed away from a terrible disease. He has just been an incredible contributor.